Tara, congrats on creating this framework of you know, how you deliver your advice, uh, your experience, your skills to help transform your um, clients. Actually, would you mind just zooming in on this a little bit on, on the, so make it a little bigger for us to look at. Yeah, let's is go. That, is that in the yeah, right Yeah, and then scroll okay. down a bit, just scroll down just a bit <clears throat> so we can see the graphic. That's really cool. So you've created this, you know, uh, those of you who are looking at this, if I want something like this, take my framework course, <laughs> okay? But uh, the, the, the point is that, Tara, you've created the framework and then you saw, gosh, there are essentially four group programs I could create based on this framework. You could probably create more than four, but you thought about four right away because of the transition points between each of the five stages or whatever, these four transition points and you wanna create. So you've created it. You've created um, four group programs for the coming year, three months each uh, covering each of these things. Now you wanted my feedback on it. So I'll, I'll, I'll share what I think about it. First of all, of course, it's, uh, it's, it's very satisfying to our inner Virgo <laughs> that you have these things planned out. I mean, I, I too. I have, I mean, if I could show you on the screen, I will, um, not right now, not relevant, but I have my courses planned out for five years. So you, you, you think you're all planned out. I planned for five years. Now, <laughs> I don't even come close. No, right? however, even though I have a plan for five, I still regularly change that plan. I mean, okay. even next year's plan has already changed at least twice in the past okay. two months. Even though I did the five-year plan like three, four months ago, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm open to changing it. Um, now, the feedback I want to give you is that your audience isn't huge yet in terms of you are not yet sure what the minimum signups will be for these programs. Like mm -hmm. you, you don't have the launch experience of these programs to know. So, mm -hmm. for example, you know, I've, I've been running my group program, Master Heart, for, for like so many years now. I can't, I've lost count. At least five years I've been running Master Heart. So I kind of yeah. know what the minimum signups are going to be. So like yeah. I have I have history of these launches so that I feel and also my 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 courses. Some of my courses are now 3 month courses, but I have so much launch history that I know that okay, I can I can feel secure planning out that far because I know that the income and the signups are going to be there so I have people to talk to. I have people to help. Sure. I have people to work with. That's my concern is that you're planning forward without having that kind of launch history minimum okay. launch. So, mm -hmm. um, so what, what's the concerning part here for me is that because your framework is sequential, am I right? That they really should work on food freedom before they, no, no it's not. Mm -hmm. So people can jump it and they can jump it at the body acceptance yeah, stage. Yeah. And that's what's interesting okay. is, okay. is okay. a okay. lot of, you know, like the client that just came to me this week is yeah. really wants to work on body acceptance. Okay. Okay. Great. The one before that that's, is really emotional eating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's really good they, to know. They can so come with like nuances. They can. Of they these can things. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's really helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe in the most ideal scenario, they might have started from the beginning, but it's still acceptable. It's still uh, helpful for people to yeah. jump it at any stage. So that makes me more yeah. comfortable that if you just, you know, like your, your summer 20, you know, your summer launch where you're already in the uh, second or third of these uh, programs, people can still jump in if they didn't take the first mm -hmm. one or two programs. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. good. Still that concern earlier of, okay, you're launching group programs, three month group programs, which are probably more expensive and obviously more involved in terms of their commitment level and your commitment level compared to, for example, the lightest course format is the free to attend paid recording webinar, a single webinar. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I would like, it, it, like in the ideal scenario, I would want, I would have loved to see you test these topics at the lightest possible model before going into something more in depth. So that you okay. know, ooh, there is market. There, so yes, there, there is, there is Tara excitement for for these topics. Question: is, is there market excitement for these topics? Mm -hmm. Market meaning your audience, the audience you are able to reach. Are they excited by these topics, and specifically by the way that you frame these topics, which is where mm -hmm. market research comes in to say, hmm, oh wow, you you don't think of it as body acceptance. You think of it as, you know body clarity. I don't know. I'm just making, making, making right. stuff up, but Positive you know what I mean? Like the, the market yeah. research gives you the language to confirm. And now these programs are next for next year. So you still could do the market research about these 
mm -hmm. programs to come up with the right, or not right, but the more market acceptable language for these things. But maybe mm -hmm. you already did that research. I'm not sure. I have to some degree, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah to some degree. Mm -hmm. But I agree. I think the market research is still important to do. Um, yeah. I think what, I, and, I, and I also agree with your concerns, like, oh, you already have the dates. Um, so part of me is also wondering. Um, which makes you less how, flexible. Like you, you are which, basically, uh, yeah. if you, especially since this is on your website now, and when people come yeah. to this, come to your framework page, they're now clicking through and they're seeing the dates. Notice that I haven't announced. I mean, we're we're into almost November uh, of 2021. I haven't mm -hmm. announced what my classes are for 2022 yet. Even right. though I, I have already planned them in my own internal spreadsheet, mm -hmm. I still allow myself the flexibility of launching something different come January. Um, yeah. So, so that's could, my only could concern. Could there be? Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'm wondering if. If there's a, a way to capture interest, and maybe I maybe sure. I take the dates yeah. and say this will be roughly you know offered around this time, and then well, and, and it's not that it, of course you can change dates also. I mean you know sure. let's say you your program starts in May and then in March you decide you have this epiphany about something or you have a market data that says you know we really should turn a different direction. No one's paid for the May program right. yet, right. so. You know, just like um, many universities, they change courses, you know, shortly mm. before the semester starts because the professor yep. has some research project or whatever, you know. So, yeah, yeah. So it's okay to still change. And to. would you capture, would you try to capture for capturing in, interest? In yes. interest? Like, how would you do that? Um, the simplest way, well, you could do one of two ways. One is to, to you know, well, the simplest way literally is to make a post on social media with this framework and, and to say, please uh, let me know which of these four programs you're interested in. Just comment oh, below or, or message me. <laughs> I mean, that's a very manual way because then you'll just kind of write there, write yeah, down their names like and make that. sure you email them when the program is about to be ready to be signed up. That's the simplest yep. way. The more sophisticated okay. is to create a, an email opt-in with the checkboxes for which of these they're interested in. Okay. So that then yep. in your email software, it'll be, tag. it'll be segmentable. Yeah, you can, you can yeah, run the program so ready to start. The check. Yeah, you okay. send the people to that segment saying, hey, you said you were interested in the body acceptance program. Yeah. This registration is now available. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to play around with that because I was going to ask folks feedback around, hey, I've designed this program. Are you interested? And does it feel like it's the right length? Does yes. it feel like that time works for you? Yes. Um, yes. Is is this something you're interested? So I was going to do almost an informal poll. Oh, that's great. And whenever and just just because I was mostly focused on the emotional eating part, right. and then yeah. I was like, well, while I'm at it, let me just throw no, these this... others in. But that's a good way to do market research too, so people could even go to the sales page and tell me what they thought. Uh, is, however, we can collaborate with our audience on making mm. decisions about our offers making decisions okay. about the copy, making decisions about the dates, making decisions about anything. And mm -hmm. if, you already, if you already made the decision, you can at least confirm that with them and still be willing to make adjustments based on their feedback. Yeah. That's, that's always good. Because every time you do that, not only are you getting helpful feedback, hopefully from ideal clients and students and members, but you're also planting the seed that is coming right. up. Yeah, yeah. So. Just a way of um, yeah. right a, an early sort of light launch yes. to some degree pre pre yeah. pre launch <laughs> pre 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 launch yeah. okay perfect yeah you've got me I have a couple things to think about now cool. so yeah thank you George you're Appreciate welcome that. thanks.